Mr. President. Senator from North Dakota. Mr. President, on the day after Christmas, former Senator Jocelyn Burdick died in Fargo, North Dakota at the age of 97. Jocelyn served only 30 days, roughly, or three months maybe at the most, in the United States Senate while she filled the vacancy that was created by the death of her husband, the longtime United States Senator Quentin Burdick. During those three months, Jocelyn was able to cast votes as her husband would have cast them and to support his staff after his death and through the transition to fill the vacancy in a special election. Jocelyn will forever hold the place in North Dakota history as North Dakota's first woman United States Senator. However, her service in North Dakota goes far beyond those three months that she served in the Senate. All of us senators know the importance and the incredible service of our spouses. Jocelyn stood by Quentin's side for 32 years while he served our state here in this important body. Throughout her life, Jocelyn embraced her place in public life with tremendous grace, dignity, and class. She demonstrated by example how people can be principled in their beliefs, yet friendly, cordial, even affectionate, while differing, having different political views. And I'm honored, Mr. President, I'm honored to be standing here using her desk, Quentin's desk, and to be a part of this heritage is, is a, a, a great honor for me. The impact of her life well lived can be seen in countless ways, especially as a philanthropist, as a political and community volunteer, and certainly as a woman of deep faith. Jocelyn's mem memory will remain alive in the hearts of all those who had the privilege of knowing her. Chris and I join Senator Hoven and Mikey and many, many North Dakotans in sending our condolences and our best wishes to the Burdick family. We pray that the fond memories and deep affection so many people held for Jocelyn will comfort them in these days and the days ahead. And I pray that God would bless Jocelyn Burdick's memory. I yield the floor.